now in the season 444 on base percentage. Yeah, no, <laughs> when you're getting, shabby. getting on base 50% of the time, but he's not going to get on base there. He strikes out on a good off-speed pitch. 1-1 one, one pitch. Hit hard on one hop right past the shortstop Titus von Kopp in the left center field. Sliding stop by Steinlein, and that holds the runners to second and third. If that ball had gotten all the way through to the gap, probably DeWolf would have scored. And the pitch. There's a ground ball to third, juggled by Thomas. He recovers, and he's got no play. Everybody's safe. Mannheim leads by a score of one to nothing. Here's the 1-0. That ball hit in the air to left field. Herline is racing back. Warning track. Wall, and it is off the base of the wall. Thorpe around first, headed to second base, and he's got a two-out double. There's the tying run for the Disciples. I think he hit it off the end of the bat. Uh, Nate Sean Thomas, switch hitter batting from the left side. Rizzo comes set. Thorpe is off second base. And the pitch. This one sliced to left center field, and that ball is going to drop for a base hit. Thorpe around third scores. Thomas racing for third base. Here comes the throw. He's in there standing with a triple, and we have a tie ball game, one to one. <laughs> that's, a, that's an Eckersley phrase. There's the pitch, and a line drive base hit to left center field. Steinlein around third, getting waved home. Hoefner comes up throwing, and it is not in time. On to second base, the throw goes into center field. There's nobody there. Von Kopp on his way to third. He's being waved around, and he is going to score a little league home run. The Disciples lead 3-1. to one. And on the play, the shortstop Nielsen had run to cover as there was going to be a pickoff play, and that ball was lined right to the spot that Nielsen had vacated. So a confluence of things combined to give the Disciples a 3-1 to one lead. Watch Nielsen break, and the line drive goes right over where he was. So Von Kopf gets a base hit and a run batted in. And then he comes around to score on the error. Two balls, two strikes, and the pitch. Ground ball to the shortstop, Von Kopf. Plays it off his chest, fields and throws to first, and he just got him, and that ends the inning. No runs. Thomas DeWolf, a little smile on his face as he crossed home plate. Klaus had a very good weekend against Sarlouis two weeks ago. Here's the pitch. There's a line shot down the left field line. That's a base hit towards the corner. Thorpe is going to score. The ball goes all the way to the wall. Thomas is being held. He slides and falls halfway between third. Can he get back in time? Yes, he can, because Ooh. Lucas Dickman didn't realize he had fallen down. That is a double for Klaus Nicolici and the Disciples lead 4-1. to one. You have runners on first and second. There are two down in the inning. A run is in. The Disciples lead 5-1. to one. They've scored in every inning in this game. And a line shot, base hit right center field. Lechner is going to score. That ball goes all the way to the warning track. Thorpe being waved around. He's coming to the plate, and he will score a two-run double for Klaus Nicolici. It is 7-1 Disciples. He's pitched four innings, allowed four hits, one run. That run was unearned. One walk and one strikeout. Typical Ondra line, low strikeouts, low walks. And the first man he deals with is Sabal is crushed. Deep to left field, way back it goes, it is gone. That's a home run off the bat of Dominic Hoopner. And it is seven to two. Well, right away, first pitch swinging. So he was injured during the final game of the finale series. And he rips one, caught. On a line by the first baseman, Klaus Nicolici. Klaus went down to a knee. He didn't have much time to move. And he takes a double away from Mitch Nielsen. There are several ballparks that would have been a home run in, but not here. Here's the 01, 02 rather. That one is drilled, and it is going to disappear. That ball is flying out of here. David Candelis with his 11th home run of the year. Two home runs in the inning, and it's 7-3, to three, and that's what the Manheim Tornadoes do. They pulverize baseballs. That ball was sent into orbit. It was just crushed. <laughs> you, could, you could hear it from the sound on the bat side. Yeah, it was a two-strike pitch on it. There's the one-two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the first one-two-three inning we've had in this game. Tomas Ondra sets down the Tornadoes in order. Absolutely. Three and two on DeWolf, who was actually drafted as a pitcher by the Mets. The pitch, 
There is a drive, right field, and that ball's gone. High off the net, but that's a home run for DeWolf. Home run. I don't think he realizes that the top oh, net wow. is home run territory. He's shaking his hand, saying, is that a double? And Andreas Boxlater, the umpire, lets him in on the secret that the top net here in Hard as Evil's ballpark is indeed a home run. One and one on David Candelis. And the pitch. Hot shot pulled down the third base line, backhanded by Thomas. He spins, fires to first, in time! And the ball game is over! That was a great play by Nathan Thomas to put an exclamation point on an 8-4 to four victory. And it was just, it was just typical to that, that Nathan Thomas ends this game. It's so much fun today. He and the rest of the disciples had fun today. What a job by both Tomas Ondra and Titus van Kopp. Let's watch this on the replay. Well, that ball is a base hit 90% of the time. Thomas from short left field threw him out. And the disciples have doubled up the offensive juggernaut, the Mannheim Tornadoes, by a score of 8-4. to four.